Good morning, New Beginning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is, the, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will be glad. If you will stand with us to your feet and welcome the Holy Spirit in.
Lord, bring them safe and glad back home at the appointed time. And Lord, touch the pastor who will bring the word this morning. Yeah. Help them to decrease so they for the while. The Holy Spirit increases them. Lord, that we can hear a word from you. But not just be here as only a word for us. But that will be doers of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we just give you all the glory and all the praise. Thank you, Lord, we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
ever seen. Let's look. Christian Fellowship Church, Amen. where we are loving people and changing lives Amen. for the kingdom of God. Right. And I'm so glad to be with you on today. This is like coming home to me. Right. Amen. I'm so glad to see these familiar faces on today. And I want to testify to you that God is good. He's so good that he's a God that can keep you even through a pandemic. Amen. And we stand today on the strength of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Even though we live in some challenging times, I got good news for you. God said that I would never leave you. Neither would I forsake you. And let me tell you something. We got to realize something. A lot of times we feel that God is only with us when we're on the mountaintop. We feel like God is only with us when we are doing our very best. We feel like God is only with us when we are experiencing the blessings of God. But he says, I will never leave you. Neither would I forsake you. So even when you're on the mountaintop, even when you are down in the valley, God, 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 is still with us. Through the pandemic. I said to New Covenant, I said, we got to remember something. We are in a pandemic, but heaven is not. 
and 18. Then we're going to turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. All right, now. Have it if you would stand for reading of the word of God. Well, reading to you from the King James Version of the Bible. And it reads, Matthew 28, 17 and 18. It reads, And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Right now. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 mm. reads, Wherefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old yes, things have passed yes. away. Mm -hmm. Behold, all things have become new. Mm -hmm. You may be seated. God bless the reader. God bless the hearer of the word of God on today. I would like to talk to you this morning. Mm -hmm. From this thought, the power to live the resurrected life. All right. All right. The power to live the resurrected life. All right. All right. Now. Okay. We live in a day and time now to where everybody that you talk to will tell you I'm good. <laughs> all right, all right. I remember day when we would ask <laughs> how you were doing mm -hmm. and you would get a response to the fact that they would say, well, God has been good to me. Yeah. They would say that I thank God for giving me a portion of health yeah. and strength. All right, all right. All right. And if it be God will, yeah. we will meet all right. yeah. Yeah. And what they did was they realized that they were not in control of their lives. Right, but right. Their lives depend on what the Lord says. Right. Hey, 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 hey. You will say, well, I'll see you tomorrow. They say, well, if the Lord yes, say yes, so. If the Lord <laughs> say so. That's right, right. If the Lord say so. In other words, I don't have any say so. If the Lord say that I'll see you tomorrow, then we will see you on tomorrow. But we live in a day and we live in a time where folk are saying, I'm living my best life. Come on, And I beg the difference because they don't really realize what they're 
best life is. Life outside of the will of God is not your best life. All right. That's right. That's right. Come on, Jesus said that I come that you might have life and that you might have life more abundantly. Yes, yes. yes. All right, all right. We live in a time to where everybody is doing their own thing. All right. And what's sad about it, they don't want you to say nothing about it. All right. All right. All right. All right. They say, don't judge me. Well, baby, I'm not judging you. I'm just looking at the way you live. All right. All right. And your lifestyle All right. speaks of All right. the way that you live. Your <laughs> lifestyle speaks of whether or not you are in a relationship with God or you're just doing your own thing. All right. All right. Say it, say it. In this day and time, we are living our best life and when someone transitions from this life into the next mm -hmm. if we're not careful we'll put them in heaven and say I know they're in a better place I know that they are in a better <laughs> place <laughs> I realize that heaven is a Prepared place for a prepared people. He says in John 14 chapter, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, then I will come again and receive you until myself. So therefore, everybody is not going to heaven, only those that's prepared right, to meet right, me. Right, right, right. Yes, sir. Preach. Help them. I'm going to look at this text because I find it very interesting. Jesus says something after the resurrection is very powerful. He declares that all Power is given unto me, both in heaven and on earth. Right, right, Pastor. That's good news for us. That's a good place to shop. Right there. Yes, 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 yes. He says that 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 all power. Yes. It's given unto me. Uh -huh. right. yeah. I want you to understand that's a finished work yeah. statement. Yeah. Right, right. That's a finished work statement. Hmm. The reason why that's a finished work statement is because the enemy have been defeated. Uh -huh. that's right. And the victory have been won. So therefore, there's nothing that the enemy that can bring to you that you already have the victory over. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, why? Because we have the power through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Let me walk down memory lane here for a minute. All right. And let's see. Why we needed this power that Jesus told the 11 about. Mm -hmm. We must realize that God has always and will be about relationships. It's all about relationships. Everything that God did was out of relationships. You got to remember he was God. Yeah. So therefore, he's speaking things happen. Yeah. Right, right, right. If if he if he if he wanted to, all he had to do was say it, and there it is. But when he made man, he took time. He didn't speak him into existence, but 
He shaped him out of the dust of the earth and formed him a body. And he laid there. He was known as Red Man. And the Bible tells me that, that God breathed the breath of life in him. And then man became a living soul. All right. All right. All right. Man is the only thing that has the life of God on the inside of him. Simply because he had a body, but no life came into him until God breathed into his nostrils, and then he became a living soul. Made in the very image of God. And, and, and let me tell y'all, you don't look like God. Well, because God is a spirit. Yes. But we have the entity of God that lives on the inside of us. We are able to make choices. We are able to make decisions. We're able to look at something and decide whether we want to or whether or not we want to. We are able to make a decision whether we want to serve God or not serve God. We are in his image. We have free will. We decide whether or not what we do with God. And he was pleased. The very thing that he loved the most was man. Gave man charge over his creation. Entrusted him. Yes, sir. And I always say that God decided to where man had a job before he was even created. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't make him to chill, but he made him to work. All right. All right. All right. Say that. <laughs> he gave him responsibility yes, before he was even created. All right. All right. He had a place for him and a purpose for him before he was even created. Yeah. He wasn't just created for God to mull over, but God wanted to entrust him in what he had created. All right. All right. To the point that he gave him free will. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let y'all know something this morning. God is not going to make you serve him. All right. All right. That's right. Don't think you're doing God a favor. All right. Because you come to church. Yes. That's your reasonable service. That's, right. That's it. That's it, Pastor. That's right. Don't think you're doing something because you're paying your tithes. That's your reasonable yes. service. All right. All right. That's right. That's something we should be doing. You do that out of the singleness of your heart. Yes. Yes. He loved man so much to. He put him to sleep and he made him a, a help meet and then allowed the man to. to Tell him what it was that he made. Mm -hmm. And he said, whoa. Whoa, man. Whoa. Yeah. 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 And there was a lot of whoa. Yeah. 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 Sure, it was right. like, whoa, man. Whoa, yeah. man. <laughs> Saw that it wasn't good for him to be alone. Saw that everything had a man. And he saw that man needed a help me. Mm -hmm. So he could fulfill God's given purpose. God-given purpose. And you know the story, he put them in the garden and everything was good and yeah. they were walking in the will of God and they were meeting him in the in the cool of the morning and in the cool of the evening and everything was 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 just lovely. Yeah, yeah. And then uh -oh. Satan. Uh oh. All right. The serpent. And he done exactly what he do well mm -hmm. is he saw a line. Wow. <laughs> That's what he yeah. Start lying. Mm -hmm. Start misquoting scripture. Mm -hmm. Start giving wrong interpretation mm -hmm. about what it says. Mm -hmm. Well, and he's still doing that today. Right now. Right there. When you try to witness the folks, they want to tell you, I know God in my own way. Yeah. 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 They know him in their 
Right. And I tell them, if you don't know him according to the scripture, then you don't know him at all. Because he says that my ways are not your ways. And they were doing fine. And Satan showed them. Talked Eve into doing the opposite of what God told Adam and her to do. And she took the bait. And then what she did was she gave what she had taken from the tree and shared it with her husband. And then both of them found themselves outside of the will of God. That's right, that's right. Let me tell you something, when you're living your best life and doing what you want to do, if it's outside of the will of God, God is not honoring that. Okay. Yeah, let him know. Whenever sin rears its ugly head, it brings about shame. Yeah. And God came to Adam like he normally comes. Right. In the cool mm -hmm. of the evening. Yes, sir. Right. And you know what? God is so awesome, he already knew Adam had sin. Yes. So he was just going like amen. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Like sometimes that's what get us in trouble. We we sin and we think ain't never happened. Yeah. Everybody knows. Everything good. Nobody know me. <laughs> Just between me and God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he began to call for Adam. Adam hid himself. Well, Bible says that he he sold together. Leaves to cover himself. Yeah. And he came to God covered. Right, right, right. And God asked him a question Adam, where art thou? Yeah. And he said, I was naked. <laughs> he did not realize that he was clothed in the righteousness of God. But once he Seeing, he found himself naked. Yeah. And I'm going to use a title from the story on the, on the TV. And the shame. God said, who told you you was naked? <laughs> then he began to bring that. She, she was wife. <laughs> now she that woman. <laughs> That woman that you gave me. God should have said, that woman that I gave you, I gave you charge over her. But see, that's what the devil did. That woman that you gave me. Gave me of the tree that you told me not to eat of. And my eyes came on. That woman. And then that woman <laughs> said, that serpent. All right. So there's a bunch of that, that yeah. going on. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of remind me of this and that. That's yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. But nobody was taking responsibility. All right. Now. Yeah. And we live in a day and time where nobody want to take responsibility <laughs> for their actions because there's always somebody else. But it's me, it's me, oh Lord, that stands in the need of prayer. Not my brother, not my mother, not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, that stands in the need yeah. The story goes where Adam and Eve and the serpents are punished for their sins. Adam and Eve was cast out of the east side of the garden. Hmm. Had cherubims there to keep them out. All right. But God being a God of relationship. Yeah. When man failed, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
God was putting in motion a way for man to come back to him. That's right. That's right. Because he wants relationship with man. That's right. And what we see from generate from 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 Genesis all the way to Malachi, God was finding a way to bring man back to him. He loved us so much that he even used men to bring man back to him. But that was an enemy of the plan and that was seen. That was a force that was too much for man to handle. Man would do good for a while, then man would mess up. Man would send up a sacrifice, they don't pay, then man would mess up. And then the one that was sending the sacrifice had to send a sacrifice for them first, and then send a sacrifice for man, and man would still mess up. And then Jesus came yes, sir. through 42 generations. Came of a virgin, Mary. Yes, sir. Just like it was prophesied. Yes, yes. Came in due time. Yes, due time. Due time. Came when God was ready for him to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Born of a virgin, right. Mary. Yes, yes sir. Mm -hmm. and let me push Paul's way he right here because I want y'all to realize something. When we say that we want to be used mighty by God, mm -hmm. God uses you. Don't come at your expectation <laughs> time. All right, all right. All right. Mary and Joseph was about to be born. They were betrayed and everything was looking good. And all of a sudden she prayed. Yeah. And this thing was a holy thing. It wasn't no fornication going on. This was God choosing her. It wasn't at the right time on her watch. But we got to realize that we deal with an eternal God. We live in time. He lives in eternity. And when the right time was, see, God don't care about what you got going on because that is time. All right, all right, all right. It was that time for him to come. And we see how God works us out for Mary and Joseph. At the age of 30, he starts his ministry. God says, and believe that in order for me to have that relationship that I want with man, I'm going to have to go down and I'm going to have to be made in the flesh. Yes. Jesus had a hypostatic union where he was all God and yes. he was all man yes. and he walked among men. Yes. He was God in the flesh. Yes. I like to put it this way. God made himself so he could come down and save men and bring them back to him. Because he loved us so much. Let me share something with you. Folk like to say when things are not going right, God is mad at me. No, God loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. He's not mad at you. You're just making bad decisions. And now you're facing the consequences of your decision. It have nothing to do with, with God's attitude towards you, but it have everything to do with your attitude towards God. He loved you. He sent the very best he had. He sent his only begotten son. Yes. At the age of 30, he started his earthly ministry. Mm -hmm. He did many miracles. And I want us to understand that 
Everything that Jesus did was just like God. It wasn't for him, yes. but it was for us. Yes. <laughs> Everything he did yes. was for us. Yes. Every miracle that he performed was for us. Yes. What did he say? So that they might believe. Yes, yes. Because yes. we don't believe. Yes. We don't believe. That's he right. did it for us. Okay. His teaching was for us. Yeah. His miracles was for us. Yeah. His blessings was for right. us. Yeah. It was all for us. Oh, yeah. His miracles was to show us that he's God and he can do anything that he wanted to do. Yeah. His blessings is for us. He just want to give us a treat to let us know that I still love you and I want to reward you. Yeah. It was for us. Yes, Everything that he did yes, was for us. Yes, because he loved us. Yes, Just like we love our children. Yes. And I'm not going to even talk about grandchildren. <laughs> Folks ask me, how's the family doing? They're doing fine. How's your wife? She's fine. How's your children? They find how your grandchildren, they're doing better than everybody. That's right. Because we loved it. That's right. But what he did was, he took on Satan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Our arms are too short to box with Satan. All right. He's too crafty for us. But yet, he's the one that keeps us. From that relationship with God. Right. So he took on Satan himself. Yeah. He knew that his coming. That he was going to have to give his life. Mm. For us. We couldn't die for ourselves. That's right. But yet he came to die for us. Right. He came to suffer for us. Yeah. He came to get the victory for us. He came to get the power for us. Came to do that for us. He didn't need it. He already had it. But he had to do it for us. And I'm here to tell you this morning, it doesn't matter what you are facing. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Why? Because he did it for us. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do the he died thing this morning. I know it's communion right. Sunday. But as he was concluding his ministry, right. and they had to find him guilty of something. In other words, they had to lie on him in order to kill him. That's yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. That's right. And that was fine because they didn't realize that's what he was trying to get. That's right. Right. Yeah. right. His trial was illegal because he wasn't a Roman. Mm -hmm. Had no right to even try. Mm -hmm. All right. They had no reason to kill him. Yes. He stated that he would destroy the temple in three days he would raise it again and they think it in the natural but he was talking spiritual to them. Yeah. All right, all right. don't you know that this temple that your body is the temple of the law yeah. but yet they took him and they marched him from judgment hall to judgment hall to the point that even Pilate himself, and I like to name him the people pleaser, who can really turn some things around, and say, look, I wash my hands. We got a lot of hand washers today. And I'm not talking about COVID, neither. But we got a lot of hand washers. To say, look, I'm not fooling with you. I'm not bothered with that. I, I ain't got time for that. I'm going to do what I, I want to do. You know, we got some hand washers. But that's all right. Because Jesus was getting ready to be exactly where he wanted to 
to be in order to help us. He didn't do it for him. He did it for us. They marched him from judgment hall to her judgment hall. They found no fault. Then, what remember on, 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 on Sunday morning, they celebrated him. Yeah. Hosanna! Yeah. Hosanna! Yeah. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Yeah. But by Friday, the question was asked, what would they do with Jesus? And they said, crucify him. Crucify him. The same one that laid the palm trees said, crucify him. Yeah. They marched him down the road with the cross on his shoulder. They spat on him. They made fun of him. But he didn't say a moment word. He kept on because he had purpose in his view. I'm going to tell you something. Those of you that's even out there on social media if you're struggling to come back to church, yeah. just get a vision of heaven in your view. Right. Yes. If you get a vision of heaven in your view, yeah. it makes you want to get up, yeah. put your clothes on, yeah. come to the house yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. Come the old folks say, come over here. Yeah. The table is spread yeah. and the feast of the Lord going on. Yeah. They marched him up the hill with the cross on his shoulder. Yeah. But they got him up on Golgotha's hill. Like and then they laid that cross on the ground. Yeah. And then they began to nail his feet. Yeah. They began to nail his hands. Yeah. And then they messed up. Yeah. What they did, they lifted him up. Yeah. the Bible said, he said that if I be lifted up, I will draw all men under me. I will draw them from the north. I will draw them from the south. I will draw them from the east. I will draw them from the west. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men. They hung him high. And they stretched him wide. From the sixth until the ninth hour, he died. Then he died. They put him in a bar and because he wasn't going to need it long. But early, early, early on Sunday morning, he got up with power, power from on high, power to live right. Chronicles tell us 5 and 17. 
If ye, if we be in Christ, we are new creatures. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So guess what? I got news for you this morning. You have power over everything that's happened to you. Let me tell you again. You have power over everything that's happening to you. Why? Because that same power that Jesus has, we that are believers in Christ, we have that same power. So therefore, our enemy is defeated. He's defeated, so therefore, we walk in victory, not in defeat. We are not the victims, we are the victor. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So because of him, I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. Why? Because whatever my issues is, whatever my situation is, whatever I need, I can call on him. See, I'm not going through by myself. I don't need a shoulder. I need a prayer cloth. Because if I call on him, he will answer prayer. As I close today, let me encourage you. New covenant. I'm sorry. Okay. New beginning. Let me encourage you to keep on. Yeah. Keep on. All right. Don't let nobody turn you around. Don't let nobody let you stop. Encourage one another. Think on whatsoever is lovely, whatsoever is right, whatever is true. Think on this things. Why? Because he has all power in his hand. And since he has all power, there is nothing. There is not anything that's too hard for him. Because he has power both in heaven and on earth. Every head bowed. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this hour, oh God. Thank you for those that have come, Lord, to hear your word on today, oh God. And Lord, we believe and we know that because of your word and because all is given to you both in heaven and earth that you have power over everything. Lord, we know that there's nothing that we face today that we don't have the victory. And we thank you for victory in every area of our lives. Lord, I ask that you look upon those that's under the sound of my voice. Folks here in person and there in media. We ask that you move, we ask that you touch, we ask that you save in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you today and we want to give you the praise and all of the glory. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. I'd like to make an invitation. You might not know Jesus and the pardon of your sin. We talked about this power that he had today. I want you to know that this power is available to you. All you have to do is make up in your mind that I want to make Jesus my choice. I'm tired of my sinful ways. Let me share something with you. It's not going to get any better. You know this gas will go down and it go back up. Go down and go back up. Not going to get any better, but let me share something with you. The Bible says, Godliness with contentment is great day. 
He gives us victory in this present world. But if you don't know him, in the pardon of your sin, and you want to make him your choice, this is your time, this is your hour. Those of you that are on media, those of you that are presently here in the church, if you don't know him, you can bow your head right where you are and just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm tired, Lord. I've been wrestling. I've been fighting. I've been trying to figure it out. I've been trying to do it my way, oh God. But Lord, I realize that your ways are not my ways. Lord, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin and save me, oh God. Make me new in the name of Jesus. Come into my life, oh God. I want to be a Christian in my heart. Help me, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We believe that if you have prayed the prayer and accepted the Lord in your life, in your heart, that you are a Christian, you are a believer. And I want to encourage you, reach out to this church, New Beginning Church. It's a wonderful church with wonderful people and wonderful leadership. Amen. And if you're looking for a church home, this is a good body of believers to be a part of. Amen. This is a great body of believers to be a part of. God is about relationship. He never intended for us to go to heaven by ourselves. You know, they used to say, I'm going to heaven if I'm going by myself. You, you're too selfish. You got to take somebody with you. If you find a good deal, you want to tell somebody. Amen. Amen. God bless you. It's offering time. Amen. Those of you on Facebook, you can give by Zell at liftingjesus at yahoo.com or you can use our, I call it snail mail. Snail mail. You can mail it to it, snail mail. At P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. So you can, again, that cell is lifting.jesus at yahoo.com or you can mail us the offering at P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this offering for today, Lord. Thank you for every giver of the gift that they give on today, oh God. Lord, we ask that you bless them, and Lord, that you will open up the windows of heaven, Lord, and pour out a blessing that they won't be able to receive, oh God. And Lord, we thank you today, oh God, and we bless this offering in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. Now we're going to ask for the first impression of ministry. They will direct you in bringing your offering. Artists, you may stand. Follow the first impression Thank you. 
Father, we thank you for this offering. We ask that you bless those that give. We ask that you restore 30, 60, and 100 folds. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. At this time, announcements. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here with your morning announcements. Special thanks. Special thanks to our Turning Hearts Music Ensemble as they perform in the Houston Harris County Teacher Retirement Association Fund Day. Thank you parents for your continued support. Bible listening and journaling. We are listening and journaling through the Bible for 2023. Don't forget to listen every day. Turning Hearts Music Ensemble Summer Enrichment Music Camp. NBC will host our THME Summer Enrichment Music Camp on July 17th, 17th through the 21st. Donations are encouraged. Please remember those in our prayer list. Lucia Galvan, Darrington family, Richard family, Vivian Eslaha, Al Brinson, Sarante Miller, Angel Rodriguez, Priscilla Johnson, Raymond Alfred Jr., Beverly Wallace, Omar Galvan, Ed Brandon and family, Jacqueline Torres, Dorothy Sellers, Billy Banks, Kevin and Katrina Whitlock, Laborers for the Harvest, Protection in Schools and World Peace. Thank Amen. You. Let us pray. Father, we lift those that's on the prayer list and stand in the need of prayer, oh God. Yes. Lord, you know every circumstance, you know every situation, you know every sickness, you know every illness, oh God. And Lord, we lift them to you, oh God. And Lord, we ask that you touch, oh God. And as we raise our voices and we touch and agree that your will shall be done, oh God. And we receive it by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. This time we want to prepare our hearts to take up the bread and take up the cup of the Lord. The Bible says that as often as we do this, we do this in remembrance of me. I'm going to ask that we prepare our hearts like for us to visualize in our minds how Jesus hung, bled, and died on the cross for us. We were not worthy. We couldn't do it for ourselves. But he did it for us. He was made sin for us. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. And as we prepare to take of this bread and take of this cup, of the Lord, I want you to lift your hearts towards him, your minds towards him, and visualize. I'd like to say that there's no picture can depict what Christ looked like as he hung, bled, and died on the cross. I believe in the manner in which he was beat that he was unrecognizable as a human. And that's a sign of what sin do to you. It takes you to a place to where you are unrecognizable. But the good news is that he's not dead. Bible tells us that he sits at the right hand of the Father. He's our advocate. And he's pleading our case. Yes. 
So today, this is not a memorial, but this is a remembrance of the sacrifice that Christ made on the cross for our sins. We're going to pray. Father God, we come at this hour to take up this bread and take up this cup of the Lord today. We ask that you search our hearts, O oh God. Lord, we ask that you forgive us our sins, forgive us our transgressions, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for your shed blood on the cross for us, Lord. Yes. Lord, because of you that we are able to stand today, O oh God, and take up this bread and take up this cup of the Lord, O oh God. We believe that this cup, Lord, is healing to our bodies. Strength to our souls, O oh God. Lord, you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes, we are healed, O oh God. And we confess healing in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you today, Lord. And we give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. This time. Lift your name on high. Lord, I 
all strands. May we all lead. May we all drink. I know it was the love.